Hi everyone. Today I want to do a quick demo of CF Lumen. CF Lumen is an app for rooted users on Android KitKat that adjusts the color display of your Android device. Um, it can adjust the colors based on the location of the sun or on a timer or your master override. By default it'll uh, lower your color temperature uh, when the sun goes down which is easier on the eyes and uh, makes the display look more like uh, artificial lighting normally does as opposed to the daytime lighting that your display normally represents. Uh, let's just open the app and see where it goes. Uh, the first time you open it, it will need to know your location before it can calculate the position of the sun relative to you and if you need to, uh, if it needs to change the color temperature of your device. So let's do that. It uh, automatically detects where you are, uh, or at least it tries to, and then shows you this on maps to make sure that you want to save this location. Okay. Now all the other options become available. Uh, first, there's the master filter mode. Uh, this one's important because all the automatic magic only happens when this is set to automatic. You can disable everything or you can override, you can set it to always display as a red filter, for example, or green or blue, etc. Uh, it should be noted that these color filters actually convert the image to grayscale first and then show the grayscale image only on that color's channel. So it doesn't just block the green and blue channels if you choose uh, red, uh, losing all that detail. It actually keeps those details. Uh, additionally, there's the option to invert colors. A lot of people like this at night for reading websites with white backgrounds uh, or grayscale. can also have its uses. There's the temperature option. Uh, this is the one used by default when the sun goes down. It sets it to 3400 by default. Uh, you can see the difference that makes. You can also change the color levels manually. Uh, this does not do that grayscale uh, step I mentioned earlier. So if I remove green and blue everything that's blue will appear black. Some people in the old version of CF Lumen repeatedly set this to complete black and then email me why their screen was black. So don't do that. Don't put all the sliders to the left. That's a bad idea. Um, the last filter is the color blindness enhancer. I didn't make this. Actually, I uh, ripped this from uh, Android source code. This is actually available on Android itself, but there's n nowhere uh, an option to turn it on or off. So I just nicked it and put it in CF Lumen and see if it's useful to you. Uh, I'm not colorblind, so I can't really test it, but uh, here's an example of uh, the home screen, what it normally looks like and what it looks like with this correction enabled. See, it's completely different uh, colors. Uh, apparently, this should increase detail and enhance clarity for the colorblind users. So uh, let me know if it works for you if you are colorblind. I am definitely interested in that information. Right, let's go back to the automatic mode. Um, we make a difference between daytime, uh, sundown, and sleep time. Uh, daytime is when you usually wouldn't have any filters uh, applied, so it's set to disable. Uh, sundown, as I mentioned before, uh, uses the 3400 Kelvin color temperature. And there's, of course, the sleep color filter, which is set to red by default for when it is truly dark. So this doesn't destroy your night vision as a normal display would. Uh, this is great if you like running around outside in the dark 
and look at your phone at the same time. Um, there's uh, some light sensor options as well. You can uh, automatically uh, make it sleep if uh, it goes dark. Use the sleep in a dark option. I'll just put my hand over the light sensor now to make that work. For some reason it doesn't. Calibration of Ah, right, there it is. I had the during sundown only option enabled. Um, light sensors come in various sensitivities in various devices, so uh, some devices are not actually able to distinguish between uh, low light that you would normally see inside a building and it actually being very dark, so like being outside at night. Um, so we have the option to only uh, automatically switch to uh, sleep mode when it's dark during sundown hours so it doesn't accidentally switch to all red during the day. Uh, of course there's also the option to uh, go to day mode when there's bright light. So even uh, if it's after sundown and you walk into a well-lit studio, for example, then it'll go to normal mode. As I said, light sensors vary, uh, vary in quality, so there is a calibration option. Um, most devices I've tried actually work best with this set all the way to the left, but some are uh, much more sensitive. For example, the HTC One I tested this on, uh, you had to had have them all set all the way to the right for this to work anyway reliably. So you have to play with the light sensor settings a bit to make sure it works well for your situation. Uh, additionally, we have uh, the notification mode. Uh, by default, it always shows a notification. Uh, this is because if you don't show a notification, then Android is likely to kill the background service. Uh, we don't want that because the background service um, controls the color of the display. So it'll try to keep restarting itself uh, in the background, even if it's killed, but just for safety reasons it's set to always by default. Uh, you can set it to uh, when active. That will only show you the notification if uh, the display colors are actually being changed. Uh, still I advise to have it set to always. Of course there's also the launch it on boot option which makes sure that it restarts after you boot. Um, before enabling that make sure your configuration works so that you haven't put it into custom red, green, blue mode and put those all to zero so your screen is black. <laughs> Finally, uh, let me quickly change my location to somewhere in Asia so it thinks that it's dark outside. See, you immediately see the color change. Um, because now the notification is handy. Um, Right now, it's uh, the notification is expanded, so you can see the buttons. But if you have a lot of notifications on screen, it's actually possible that the notification is small, like this. So then you can always just tap it, hold it, drag it down to show the buttons. Um, this gesture is stock Android. I think it can use some improvement. Uh, anyway. Uh, there's quick access to the disable and sleep buttons here. So if I press disable, then the color filters will disappear and you'll have a normal display for an hour by default, unless you manually enable it again. So if you want to look at some pictures or play a game or something, and you don't want the color filters applied, just press that button. Uh, it can also uh, engage sleep mode. So even if it's sundown but it's not yet sleep time you've configured, you can quickly just go into sleep mode if you go into a dark place and aren't using the light sensor for this. Or the light sensor doesn't work well for you. 
So those are uh, more or less all the options in CF Lumen. I hope uh, it'll be useful to you. I use it on all my devices now. Um, it's actually inspired by a program I use on all my computers called Flux. Uh, if you like this and you like the color adjustments and how it helps in the evening, be sure to install Flux on your computer as it does the same thing. Uh, thanks for listening. <laughs>